Hello and welcome back to Ingvid. In today's lesson, we are going to be looking at eight words used for measuring space and looking at how we use these words in a human story. So this lesson is appropriate for beginners and intermediates looking to use language in a more accurate and varied manner. So today's situation, we are pretending that I have a girlfriend in San Francisco. First word, long. Length. So there are different ways in which I can use this word long. Firstly, length. Um, someone might ask me, Benjamin, what has been the length of your relationship? I.e. how long have I been going out with the girl for? Uh, well, the answer, a couple of months, two months maybe. Um, at length. We use this word when you hear something after a long time. At length, I received an email from my girlfriend. Lengths. Most commonly, this word is used to measure how many times you go up and down in a swimming pool. How many lengths would I have to swim to get to San Francisco from London? Uh, the answer is quite a lot. Lengthened. You could use this phrase with time, but it means anything that's getting longer. Time lengthened between the time that I saw her last. Time got longer. It was a long distance relationship. That means we're on the telephone sending messages, okay? We're in two different places trying to get along. Opposite of long, short and three words that we can use with short. I wanted to shorten the distance between us. I wanted to shorten the distance. A shortcut. We use this word in uh, electronics. So I won't try and explain to you how this works, but a shortcut means that if you are going uh, you have to do a lap, pretend we're doing athletics, not electronics. If I do a shortcut, my start's here and my finish is there, maybe I do a slightly shorter lap. So I'm shortening the distance I travel. Shortly. Shortly is pretty much the opposite of at length. It means in a short time. So shortly, I will go and have a cup of coffee. Okay, we're ready for the next ones. Good stuff, keep that concentration going. Wide, two words here. Width, uh, the width of my trousers, I believe is 32 inches, something like that. Widening, my waist is widening with each croissant that I eat. My girlfriend in San Francisco might not like it. Okay, width, widening, getting bigger. Broad. Uh, broad means sort of bulky. Uh, if you're broad shoulders, it means you're out here. So we sort of sense of getting bigger. If I broaden my horizons, it means I learn more about the world. A broad-minded person. So I, uh, I think the people in San Francisco are broad-minded. They care about the environment and they are good people, they want to learn more. High, well, you could uh, listen to a Bob Marley song. Alternatively, stay tuned with me. To be on a high means that you are feeling really good. You're riding a positive wave of emotion. Um, so these two words, high and low, often used to uh, talk about emotion. High, sort of positive ones, low, feeling down in the dumps. Down, high. Height. My girlfriend's height is six foot one. Okay, the height of something. Or you could use it to measure something more abstract, like passion, the height of our passion. Highly. This is a synonym of very. Um, the highly sought after professor. The highly sought after. It means everyone wanted to hear from the professor. Low. So 
let's look at the story. I've got this girlfriend, da, 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 writing these long distance messages. I want to shorten the, the distance between us. I'm getting a little bit fatter. Um, I think things are really good over there. So um, I want a bit of a hike as I go out over to San Francisco and I see her and then she dumps me. This is your cue to maybe check out my other video on how to get dumped, words on how to get dumped. Because after that moment, I felt quite low. And then I felt even lower, 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 even worse, because I realized I had another two weeks in San Francisco and there wasn't very much to do. I wanted to be far away, okay? I wanted to be a big, long distance away from that place that I had gone to. And then we have another word sort of connected to low depth. Think again of the swimming pool. Instead of the lengths, we're talking about the depth of the swimming pool. Um, the depth of my depression was pretty bad. Hope you've learned something from today's lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care.